In this video, I am going to show you how to put yourself into VO3 with audio. For example, you could now make yourself into a meme. Here in my garage, Koetsu. Not just about the car says, it's about what really matters. In this video, I'll show you how I use AI to build content like this. Or you can make yourself some friends. Sometimes people ask how I make these kinds of videos. Honestly, it all starts with one photo kazoo and a bit of creativity. Or if you want to record a video in a gym. Well, I'm kidding because this video is real. So in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how you can make these videos with yourself in VO3 with your own audio. For this, we will make the images with yourself in open art, then make the custom videos in VO3, and lastly add our own voice with 11 laps. And we have to be fast because the recording studio is collapsing. So inside open art, the first thing you want to do is go to the left and click on character as you want to create a new character of yourself. You want to click on start with four images as it's going to give the best output that will look like you. So we're going to start on this and we upload at least four images of ourselves and make sure that the first image is the best quality picture of yourself. So I got my pictures in this folder right here and for the first picture I'm going to choose this one as it is a passport photo of myself and then after that I'm going to upload all the other photos as well just like this I'll drag them in right here. Great so now all the images have been uploaded now we can give this a name so I'll simply give this my own name and then a one and we can click on create character for 1000 credits right here. Now it's gonna make the character and this can take a couple of minutes. As you can see right here it can take about 10 minutes to complete. Okay now the character has been made as you can see right here so we can simply click on create to actually make the first scene and the picture for where we can make the video. So first we can add a prompt right here well, add to the prompt our reference tab and here we can simply add something simple like is playing guitar or standing on a boat or anything like that but what I like to do is go to ChatGPT or any other uh, AI model and ask it to make a prompt for me so can you make a strong prompt for an AI image generator when I'm sitting behind a desk on a beach it's a front POV start with hassle one is as that is the name that I gave it in OpenArt, as you can see, at Hassle1, and then we hit Generate. And now it's going to make this prompt more specific, and as you can see, it does exactly how I'm asking it to, to do it. So then we simply wait till it's done, there we go. Then we copy this, and now I like to go back to OpenArt, paste it in here, and then remove Hassle1, as it's already saying at Hassle1 right here. We can leave Auto Enhance on, which I will turn off right now. Then I will leave the weight. And here what I like to do, I'll set the output size, the aspect ratio on landscape or cinema. So I'll choose cinema right here. And then I'll choose two images and we click on create. And now OpenArt is gonna make two images that we can use as a base. So there we go, we got two right now. We, the first one is this one, which is pretty decent, honestly. It's everything included. It's clearly my face. And the second one is this one is just slightly different and it also looks like me, only the hair is a little different as you can see, but this is already usable. Now let's say I like the first one, then we can go back and simply download the image right here. And now we can use this in VO3. With our images generated, we want to go to VO3, so simply type in Google VO3 Flow and then hit enter and go to the first link that says Google Lamps on Flow. And here, make sure to click on sign in and then create with Flow, which will bring you to Google VO3 right here inside Google Lamps. Then here, simply click on new project. And now we want to change the model from text to video to frames to video, where we can add images to make the videos from there. Then on the right, right here, we want to make sure we configure the settings in the correct way. So we can change the model to VO3 fast, which is only gonna cost 20 credits uh, per generation. Or you could choose quality, which is gonna be 100 credits. So I'll change it back to fast with audio and then output per prompt to just one. Then here you want to click on this button and you want to upload the image that we just made so I'll simply click on upload and right here I select the image that we just made in open art and simply click on crop and save now we can see the first frame right here for the second frame we can simply leave it empty we can now add a detailed prompt now I made this detailed prompt of a guy sitting at a desk on a tropical beach and where we'll say I'm gonna show you how to make videos with yourself on VO3 I'll make sure it's VO3 fast and I'm gonna hit generate okay it's done generating so let's take a look at the result in this video, I'm going to show you how to make videos with yourself on VEO3. 
I think overall it looks really good. It's interesting that I suddenly get a Spanish accent. There is a good slight zoom in. We hear the ocean in the background, but I think I'm just speaking a little uh, slow. And as I said, this doesn't sound like me. But now I'll show you how you can actually make this sound like yourself. So the first thing you want to do is download this video as original size. Then you want to add your video into basically any video editor out there. And then you want to export the video into audio only and then change it to mp3. Then you want to go to 11labs.io, create an account. Then you want to go to voice changer right here. And this is where you want to upload your mp3 file. So I'll simply drag it in right here. And next up, this is where you want to change it to your own voice. As you can see, I got this voice that is called my name, Hassel. We can see right here. And this is what I made myself as I cloned my own voice inside 11 Labs. Now to clone your own voice is really easy. You want to go to voices at the left right here. And right here, you want to click on create or clone a voice. And then from here, you can clone your own voice. So you can do this with a new entire voice from a text prompt, less than a minute or two minutes. But for the highest quality professional voice clone, I'll choose this one and it requires at least 30 minutes of clean audio of you talking. This can be a podcast, this can be a video. I did this with two hour recording so it's as accurate as possible. So back at the voice changer, you want to select your right voice and then set the stability to 80 and 70 and 20 and then click generate speech. Now we can listen to the newly made audio. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make videos with yourself on VEO3. I will say this doesn't sound perfect, but that is honestly because the input video was also really slow, really bad and had a very strong Spanish accent. So the output right here to 11 Labs has it as well. But as you've seen through other AI videos, I've played through this video as well. It's working much better than this example. So next up, what we want to do, we want to download this newly made video right here. Then we want to go back to our editor and we want to remove the old audio and simply drag in the new audio made with 11 labs and then sync in right here. In this video, I'm gonna, and now we can see the new result. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make videos with yourself on VEO3. And just for good measure, this was the previous result. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make videos with yourself on VEO3. Now, Still, as we can see, that's night and day difference. Now, I will say it's still a bit cranky. We're very early to this, but I will say I am positively surprised by how well this is working. So that's everything. Uh, all the links to all resources will be in the description down below. If this video helped you out, please leave a like.